We're spending way too many dollars incarcerating people instead of using dollars at the early intervention parts of the system. We know many of the people that are incarcerated, we address residents, employment, support, treatment, and transportation. And if we're addressing these needs prior to incarceration, why is it questionable that these dollars are not following people into our communities? Our communities don't have the dollars available. So you send people to prison, prison for decades and they get out and there's no support for them. The world is completely different. They've been out of it for a very, very long time. One thing I want to look at is the reentry process. How are we getting them prepared for the real world again? How can we get them a job before they're out of prison? Now let's mm -hmm. send you out and then you have to find a job within 30 days. How can we have a job lined up for you already? I mean, at the, at the end of the day, we realize that many of these folks have been incarcerated for nonviolent crimes. Mm -hmm. And so we have to look at the decriminalization of, of marijuana. Right. Um, but we also, it's a caveat because many people think that just because we may legalize marijuana that everything will go away. There have been many states that have legalized marijuana, but the incarceration rates of African Americans related to uh, uh, drug crimes, specifically marijuana crimes, have still stayed the same. We have a process in Milwaukee where um, people who are in neighborhoods are able to diffuse situations before they may turn violent, and we've seen a decrease in violence in the community because of those programs.